If you have recently used Ubuntu or any of its derivatives, then you probably know that uh, Ubuntu has recently switched to GNOME desktop environment and it has also switched to a default theme known as Yaro. So let me just show you what is Yaro. So if you go into the settings and if you hit on this appearance section, then you find this window here and here you get three options. One is the light option. So what this light option does basically turns everything into white. So this is how it works. And if you select the standard options, this will make the top bar dark and everything will be white. And the last one is the dark mode. So this is the dark night rises. So this will turn everything into dark. So this is good for your eyes if you're working late night with your system. But these all three themes comes with a one single color that is the theme color or you can say the default color for Ubuntu, their iconic color and it is this one. So this one you're seeing here, it's looking like some orange. So this is the default color for Ubuntu and it comes with only single variation of it. So looking at this, some guy in Germany thought like, hey Ubuntu, I've been living in the dungeons for months now and you are giving me no choice but your own color. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna sit back anymore now and I'm going to create my own variation of Yaro theme. So what he did, he created a rainbow of colors basically for Yaro and he called it Yaro colors. So this is his repository. So if you search online and you will find this repository here. So he has made this customized theme, the or if I say the Yaro customized theme and it has these all colors in it. And to be precise, these are the all colors that are available in this Yaro package. So this guy, I think his name is Jane and he created this repo here and it not only contains the theme but it also contains the icon packs and wallpapers. It also comes with install and uninstall script so if you want to automate this stuff you can use this script to do that. But the thing is this script is kind of dull and it, it does the job but it is dull and and I just really don't like to use this script because it is not doing everything by its own. You have to provide your inputs there. I mean, you have to type sometimes the path of the installation folder. So what we are going to do, we are going to download this whole package from here. So if you go to the link given in the description, you will be able to download it from there and you can download this package from here. So you can simply go here and download chip and this will start to download. The speed can be slow because I think this is the free repo and uh, the speed can be low but uh, as you can see the speed is pretty good here. So it is downloading now. So after downloading the package file you have to extract it. So here is the package file. I can simply right click and extract here. So now you probably got the idea like Yaro colors provide the different color variations of the Yaro theme and it comes with its own icon packs and uh, its wallpapers. So this is the folder that I have just extracted. So here you can find all the icons. So these are the variations of the icons and here are the themes. So there are a lot of themes here and here are the wallpapers that you can select as per the color you choose. So I'm going to add these all into the system and to do that, I'm going to open a new tab here. And if I hit control H here, it will show me the hidden folders and you should have two folders as hidden one is dot themes folder and dot icons folder i don't have dot icons folder so i'm going to create one so if you press ctrl shift n it will show you this pop up and just type icons and if you don't have this folder then you can create this one as well so these are the hidden folders usually used for configuration in your system so if you press ctrl h again they will hide basically so I'm going to hit Ctrl H again and I'm going to copy the icons folder, the complete icons folder or its content into the icon dot icons folder here. And this can also be done using the script. You have to execute that script, but it is kind of dull. So I'm not using it and I'm doing it manually. And you can do the same for the themes. You can simply copy all the folders from here and go into the home folder and uh, the theme folder and paste all the folders here. That's all you have to do. Now you need some kind of tool to change the theme. And uh, if you are using GNOME desktop environment, then you, you have this tweak tools. If you do not have, then simply pause the video given in the top right corner 
and uh, you will be able to install this tool in your system so open up this tool and go to preferences or appearances here and simply click application theme from here so now you can see i have bunch of options here for example if i want a mate like look so i can select mate here and this will turn to that iconic green color and i can also change the cursor from here and i can also change the icon so currently these are the icons but uh, if i click to the mate option here so this will turn to the default icons the folders icon will change into mate color icon so you can easily see that it has turned a bit greenish here so this is theme is applying on it basically and i can also change the cell theme so this is white again and i can simply go to here and i can choose yaru mate and this will turn the theme into mate look so this has turned into a green thing so this way you can use all these available colors options here and you can customize the system the way you want it also comes with the wallpapers that i have just missed and if i select this option here the mate option then it will look something like this so this is now customized and uh, you can choose any color that is available from the options and you can make your distro look a bit different than the default one that you get with ubuntu and uh, i'm going to show you some of the variations of it and uh, that's it in this video i'll catch you in the next one till then take care and keep enjoying linux